the rear feet. I think maybe the rear feet are more difficult to do. Anyway, the first start from the removing the, the old post shoe. It's interesting, I never seen this before. So I, I didn't expect that actually this like horse nail is it's very soft. And kind of I don't know how to compare it. It seems to me like kind of plastic. And you see the the, the horse the horse tail <laughs> makes some knot because the tail is too long. So it looks so cute. Okay, now start trimming procedure. So after take off the old shoe, should a little bit maybe like trim, trim the nails. You see, it's just done by just by knife, very sharp knife. And you see, the horse shoe master should be specially equipped. It's not an easy job. And also maybe in ancient time this uh, horseshoe master was a pretty normal job, but uh, in today it's not very common. Maybe in like more like Western countries in the, uh, this uh, with more horses, with more horse breeding it's more common. But for example here in Taiwan, here in Taiwan there are not so many horses and not so many horse farms. I think he's checking the right angle. The angle should be right. If, uh, if the angle is wrong, later uh, cannot ride the horse. Or the horse will walk in a strange way. So you see trimming. Trimming and uh, making the right angle. Checking the angle from different directions. Some more little trim. Little trim. Anyway, of course, you need to, to to be a horseshoe master. You need a lot of experience and a lot of skills and knowledge about the horse. It's necessary to adjust horseshoe shape. Maybe shape and size. It should be correctly matched with the. So we should find the perfect match and the perfect angle. One more, I think, for another leg. So anyway, I like this thing because it's like kind of, you know, like old school. Old school, you cannot use computer. You cannot use computer or some software or some machine to change horseshoe. You can use any cannot use any software to calculate the right horseshoe size. So the horseshoe put into that box and high temperature and there is you see it's a like kind of gas oven. Of 
because there is no pain for a horse. Horse is pretty calm. No any problem. There is another horseshoe waiting, I'll show you. Red hot there. As you can see it's red hot in the oven. Identify which one is the left one, which one is the right one. Anyway, master knows. So now I, I think it's the final step. You should fix it. Nail it. You see nails. Use magnetic to hold the nails. Chicken is everything is okay and if everything is straight trim nails okay and well almost done so we finished the right side and uh, later we'll finish the left side anyway i like horses more than cars i don't know how about you but for me for example if playing games i prefer to ride horse instead of uh, racing a car so yeah for watchdogs racing i didn't really yeah but but for, for riding horse especially like in brotherhood it was very nice it was very nice. I like riding horses. I hope in AC Unity we also can ride horses. Definitely there will be no car racing in AC Unity, so hope uh, we will have a nice game. The final stage of fine-tuning horseshoe. You see there is a special tool, a special support and later should make sure that everything is flat no any sharp corners okay okay good it takes maybe one hour per horse